This is Toddo, one of many islands of the Maldives. It has white sandy beaches with palm trees, nice weather and underwater life. You can imagine that tourist like our place. But in the Maldives itself, our island is famous for agriculture. Pumpkins, passion fruits, watermelons and a lot of other fruits and vegetables are being produced here. From Toddo, the harvest is being brought to many other islands of the Maldives. About 70% of the land of our small island is used for farming and that puts a lot of pressure on the water supply. If the supply would be depleted or get contaminated, not only Toddo would have a huge problem, the whole country would experience shortages of fruits and vegetables too. If we need to ship in fresh water, that is very expensive. So it is essential that we keep our fragile supply of groundwater safe. We started working together. Our children are being educated about water and the importance of keeping it safe. Next generations will know that they can't take water for granted. We do this in the classroom by showing interesting programs, but also in the field so that children know about the practical side as well. The farmers started using less chemicals and more environmental friendly practices. When we avoid chemicals going into the ground, water won't get contaminated. People started doing rainwater harvesting on the island too. Tanks filled with rainwater are treated so that they can be used in daily lives. And we have a water treatment facility. Experts are working here to ensure the population has safe drinking water. This is an important aspect. If the water isn't clean enough, locals are resorted to buying water. These experts also monitor the water by doing various tests so that we know our supply is up to standards. We want our island to stay clean and healthy and not overuse our supply, not only for ourselves but also for all the other people that would get affected in our country otherwise. So our main goal we make sure there is enough safe water for now and for upcoming generations.